Hey everyone, it's Cassie and today's presentation is going to be on Zoom etiquette. I thought it was fitting to do it now because we're all Zooming a lot more and sort of settling into a routine. So we're just going to go over some tips and reminders while we Zoom. So today we're just going to go over some ways to set up your background and environment and then tips for your lighting and camera angles as well. The first thing I want to talk about is to be mindful of background noise. Background noise can be lots of different things. It could be something like shuffling paper or family members talking in the back or your TV being on. And all of those things can really be distracting during a Zoom meeting. And we really want to decrease those distractions because some people might have trouble focusing or hearing or even talking over those noises. So I just wanted to go over some simple changes we can make to make those background noises sort of disappear. <laughs> so the first one is to let family members know that you're gonna be on a Zoom call or um, to find a quieter part of your house to Zoom in. Another tip is to remember to mute or turn off your TVs or radios that are on. Um, because even if you're not focusing on those and you're focusing on the Zoom meeting, that noise in the background is still something that can be distracting to others on the Zoom call. But if that's something that you need to keep on or if you're in the room with someone else that's watching TV, you can also just mute yourself um, so that way no one else in the meeting can hear it. And then if you need to do something else during the meeting, uh, I know things come up, life can get crazy, and that's totally fine if you need to take care of something. Um, but if you do need to, just remember to mute yourself again or and or turn off your video, so that way it's less distracting to others in the meeting. And then setting up your environment, it's uh, again sort of like before, a good idea to find a place in your house that's quieter to be on the Zoom call. Um, maybe with a good amount of space around you if the meeting that you're on you're going to be doing some exercise and then once you have found that space make sure to stay there while you're on the meeting just because moving around the house while on the call can be distracting to others and can cause some extra background noise that we were just talking about that can be difficult to hear over or even talk over. The next topic is lighting, and this is something that can be a really simple change that can make a big difference. So for the best outcome, make sure that your lighting, either natural or artificial, is coming from in front of you and not behind you. So for example, the room that I'm in right now, I have a window that's in front of me on this side. So it's sort of shining in my face rather than coming from behind me. If there was a window behind me and I had light coming this way, then my face would be in kind of a fog or a, a shadow. So it just might be more difficult for the other people on the meeting to see you. And we wanna see all your beautiful faces. So for camera positioning, um, I know that more meetings are gonna be doing exercises and so you wanna be hands-free. And if you're using your phone to Zoom, it's a great idea to stack books like in this picture or maybe put your phone on the kitchen counter with a can of soup behind it. Anything that you can do to rest your phone on something so that way, again, you can be hands-free and be able to move your hands without worrying about, um, you know, your, your phone or where the, where the camera is. And then positioning your iPad or phone or laptop while you're on a Zoom meeting, it's best to try and keep it at eye level. Um, that way you can see the screen better and then the other participants on the meeting can see you good too. And those are all my little tips and tricks for our Zoom meetings. I hope you guys are enjoying these, these meetings and hanging with us. We are so happy that you're staying engaged and we hope to just continue this for however long we need to the best we can. Have a good day.